Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back, Josh. It's great to have you. Yeah, thank, thanks. You know, I had the flu last week, mm -hmm. so I want to thank Chris Ramirez for filling in for me, helping me to uh, sit there and be able to recover, and luckily I got it when I was at my mom's, so my mom was able to take <laughs> care of me. I also want to thank the viewers at home, so many of them, and the folks back here at the station for checking in on me and sending well wishes and prayers. Helped me feel a lot better, and now I'm feeling a lot better, too. And outside, it's not a bad day outside. Look at what we dealt with today on the time lapse. Had those temperatures that started off in the 30s, and then we got up into the upper 60s, lower 70s this afternoon with plenty of sunshine. We're going to see those warmer temperatures hang around for a while with that warm-up kind of continuing on into tomorrow and also the next day. I'm tracking another cool down that's on the way before a stronger front comes in, and that's going to lead to a chillier next weekend. Look at the last three days, or the next three days, rather. We were at 76 tomorrow. We were at 70 today. We'll be at 76 tomorrow and the 80s on Wednesday, and then that first front comes through, knocks us back down to the 60s there for Thursday. That's where we're at right now, 67 right now in San Angelo, 61 in Dallas, Fort Worth, 55 currently in Houston, 67 in Marfa, 58 in Oklahoma City, and across the Contra Valley, mainly dealing with those upper 60s and lower 70s out there, 66 currently in Lone, 70 degrees on the dot at Robert Lee, 66 in Barnhart, Ozona, you're checking in at 63 and 65 right now in Roosevelt. Lots of dry air out there, still those dew points in the 30s, so we'll see temperatures fall down quickly until the clouds come back in. Winds right now out of the south, so the moisture is going to increase. So I'm not expecting temperatures to fall into the 30s. But upper 40s and low 50s look pretty likely for tonight. With clear skies out there currently, although there are still some clouds out to the west, those will try to build in overnight along with lower level clouds. There are a few showers currently over southeast Texas. Those are going to be scooting out of the way. We're behind the warm front, so the winds continue out of the south. The high pressure is still holding over, so we've got clear skies currently. But there is another patch of moisture off to the west. It's going to try to work in along with that southerly moisture. So by the time you wake up tomorrow, we'll be dealing with the clouds again. Dry line's going to set up off to the west tomorrow. We'll be on the east side of it, so we'll be dealing with the more humid and warm air. Although it'll be drier and warmer off to our west, temperatures may get into the 80s tomorrow off to the west. And especially those of you in western Crockett County may be dealing with a few 80s. But I think most of us are going to be dealing with the upper 70s. Let's take through time here on Futurecast, kind of show you how that plays out. As you'll see, the clouds build in as we go through the night tonight. Temperatures starting off tomorrow, fairly mild in the low 50s and upper 40s. Maybe a little bit of patchy drizzle to our south. We burn them off as we go into the afternoon, climbing up into the 70s again. I don't think Futurecast is dealing with the warm air as well as it should be. I'm expecting upper 70s with southerly winds tomorrow. And then the clouds come back once again for Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday in the afternoon with the winds coming out of the west, we'll be able to warm up into the upper 70s and low 80s. I'm expecting more low 80s on the way there for Wednesday before that first Front that I showed you off to the west comes in on Thursday. That's not the cold one, though. Tonight, temperatures fall down into the 40s. 47 is the low I'm calling for here in San Angelo. Increasing clouds with southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for your Tuesday, climbing up to 76. Partly sunny, a little bit on the warmer side with south winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. This is the big cool down that comes in for the weekend. A pretty big chance of cold air stretching not only across most of the nation, but down into Texas as well. These darker colors mean there's a pretty good chance that we'll see below normal temperatures to start off March into the weekend and into the start of March. Of course, the start of uh, meteorological spring going to start off on a cooler note as we go into March. How cool? We'll take a look at the seven-day forecast. We'll show you how cool we're going to get. We're going to see those temperatures going into the 80s Wednesday. We're in the 60s Thursday, back into the 80s Friday. And here comes that stronger cold front as we head into the weekend. 52 Saturday, 42 on Sunday. We'll wake up with temperatures in the 20s Monday morning, going to be cloudy and chilly. Right now, I've got the rain chances holding off for a while, but some models want to bring it in. They also want to bring it in with that cooler weather. It's still February. It's still early March. Things can happen. We'll be watching it closely, but right now I don't see any issues with any of the weather for the next seven days or so. We'll be right back.